Never mind elegance or eloquence or speed, efficiency, style, modularity or sheer brilliance of your code, if you don't write it on time, it's worth nothing. Now, my career has been divided between writing code and writing about code. The business of writing programme code and writing magazine articles or books is, in some respects, remarkably similar. Sure, it's great if a writer can write stylishly and wittily and do really entertaining articles, but if he or she delivers an article late, it's worse than useless. Now, I recall once when I was the editor of a computer magazine some time ago, and I had to get this month's issue sent off to the printers by half past five on Thursday evening. By Wednesday, there was still one article missing. I'd commissioned a writer, and I'd told him the deadline, but the article wasn't ready. I phoned him on Thursday morning, in a bit of a panic. He said he'd been too busy, but he had, well, he just needed one more day, and he'd get me a really, really good article. Hmm. Well, that was no good to me. Remember, the magazine had to be sent to the printer that evening. No matter how brilliant the article might be, if it arrived the next day, it was absolutely and completely worthless because it was too late. On that occasion, I ended up writing the article myself, which is something an editor never wants to have to do. But if I hadn't done it, I'd have ended up with a couple of blank pages in the magazine. Oh, and incidentally, I should point out that the writer who didn't deliver his article on time never worked for me again, because I never commissioned any work from him again. When someone lets you down that badly, you don't forget it. That person is not somebody you would ever be able to rely upon at any point ever, ever again. And it's the same with programming. If your team leader or your company or your client needs your code by a certain date, you'd better be sure to have it ready, even if that code is not quite as neat and efficient and elegant as you'd really like it to be, you nevertheless have to have it finished. Now, if necessary, you may want to improve it later on, but you cannot, you must not miss your deadline. Students of programming don't always realise how important this is. In an academic setting at college or university, you may be so focused on mastering algorithms and techniques and writing with an elegant coding style that you don't even realise that in the real world, the thing that is more important than all of that is being on time. That is a skill that takes work. And as I've said many times in other videos, it's a skill you will only develop by writing complete and complicated projects. Of course, if you can make your code elegant, efficient and on time, that's even better. But being on time is the single most important thing of all. Writing slick code is a great skill to have, but slick and late is no good. The greatest skill of all is writing code that does what it's supposed to do and is ready when it's needed. Remember that whether you're looking for simple programming hints or want guidance through entire programming projects, well, I have literally hundreds of videos and whole programming courses that you can follow along with uh, here on this channel. They're listed on the playlists page of my channel, so go and take a look to see what you can find there. So finally, good luck and good programming. And remember, whatever you do, be on time. <laughs>